Hey guys, Kurt Chan, Technical Evangelist at Autodesk, and today I'm here working with the Gaming Throne and sit, actually sitting in one of their chairs. They designed this entire chair in Autodesk Fusion 360, and the nice thing about it is not only just for gaming, but it's actually for doing office work, which is, which is pretty comfortable. But one cool thing is that they actually manufacture these multi-plate camera mounts. And they designed all this in Fusion 360 and were actually outsourcing it to get manufactured out of um, Aluminum 6061. So I told them, well, you can use Fusion 360 for machining as well. So I want to show you a couple of tips and tricks in regards to just how we would machine this two and a half axis part. Let's go and jump right in. Number one, what it is, is you're always going to start with your setup. And you can see here, I've already started just by creating a piece of stock, I already have my z-axis facing up, and you can see I'm going to face the part, number one. Come right through, roll through, and, 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 and cut that top face right off. So what we can do is we're going to just come up under 2D machining, come down to the face operation, and now let's go ahead and pick our face mill. So what I've done is, is I've actually set up a, a cloud library, meaning that where I can jump on any PC, any Mac system, and have all my custom tools set up. And you can see I've already set one up for the gaming throne, and then so they can go ahead and jump on any PC, I can jump on even to the one right next to me, and, and continue going forward with any customization I've created. So I'm gonna go and pick my face mill, hit select, it's automatically going to look at the entire part, but I'm going to actually turn on under Passes tab something that we've added. It's called Use Chip Thinning. And what this actually does, let's go and take a look, is actually going to not only just come in and just face the part, but roll in the face mill so we can have a lot finer chips and a really nice finish as well. What I can do too is just right click on the setup, simulate it just to make sure everything looks great, come right in, speed up the process, and you can see it does exactly what I wanted to do, face that top face. We're gonna do some basic stuff here, talk about spot drilling and then just drilling out some of these holes, because this part actually has a, a lot of holes in it, and we can do a lot of customization and, and create our own custom tools. But the key here, though, is, is the process, right? And let's just concentrate on the drill operation. So when I click on drill, what goes on here is that Sometimes I forget what exactly the diameter is. So let's, let's, let's say if I hover over one of these, these, these holes, the nice thing is I can even dive right and say, well, oh, well, this actually, this hole is a, is a seven millimeter diameter. Instead of trying to go through and remeasure everything, I can just do that all right here on the spot. So first thing is I'm actually gonna spot drill it, then drill it. So number one, come here to tool. I know that that under the, the library, I have it set up as a 14 millimeter spot drill. Hit select, come in under geometry, and just pick the face that's going to be spot drill. Even turn on select same diameter, because what this does is it looks at the entire part, tries to find all the holes that are 14 diameter, 14 millimeters. And from here, I can turn on optimize order, say OK, and it will go through just spot drill based on the optimum order to go through. And then from here now, I can take that next approach and now just drill it. So the, the key avenue here is, is the manufacturing approach of how we can go from design to fabrication all in one single environment. Lastly, right, come back over here to drill. I know that this is a seven millimeter diameter. Come back over here to select. Let me go in under that, that cloud library called Gaming Throne. Pick that seven millimeter diameter drill. Hit select. Come back in under geometry and say, well, what needs to be drilled? That's the face. Turn on the same diameter. And from here now, we'll analyze it, recognize all the holes that are seven millimeter diameter, say okay, and just like that, we're now drilling all of our holes. And, and we can now go through, take the same approach for all the other ones, and let's just simulate it to make sure we are on this correct path. Right click on the setup, simulate. So first thing is gonna come in, face, use a face mill to face off that part. I like to turn on tail, spot drill it, then come in, and drill out those holes. So hopefully this guy gives you a high level idea on how we work in two and a half axis machining. Here, take a look at it, the gaming throne. Beautiful piece of art. I call it the collaboration hardware, which is actually pretty impressive, because not only can I do my work, but then have my coworkers come around me, see exactly what I'm working on, and then I'm actually 
sitting very comfortable in one of these guys. So check them out, tweet them at Gaming Throne, as well as check them out online at GamingThrone.com. Thanks again.